When I say Minecraft, you say Monday. Minecraft. It usually works when someone's here. Hello, Minecrafters. Today we are going to not be playing Minecraft, but rather be editing Minecraft pictures. Now, normally you may see me playing Minecraft, but today we're going to be doing this instead. I want you to feel what it takes to know how to make a proper texture pack. And it's not easy. So, uh, I'll, I'm going to be doing this music block here. And did I by this reference shot that I'm going to put up here, the size is 48 by 48. This is important. I don't know why. It just is. So I have a pre-made starter right here. It's just like two inverted boxes, one box, and then in other words, that's pushed in, and then this little striped line here because I wanted to look like it needs to depend upon uh the bottom block which it does so i wanted to make a uh, minecraft friendly here so uh, what i'm going to be doing is that i think that the black and yellow line does not match and i've tried it before and it just does not work so i'm going to put something absolutely meshable and it can be repeated over and over again and I'm going to move the recording thing so I can get to my things here. And uh, we're going to turn on hidden geometry because that's what I used for the previous. And I'm just going to delete them. They weren't needed. I know, I don't like doing this, but, you know, it is it's necessary. All right. And I'm going to warp after... This, I'm going to warp it enough so that you know what I'm doing. So basically, this is called a, this is a SketchUp program. It is free to download, but it requires some version upgrades. So I always use version 6 and 8. So I use 8 more often than 6. But 6, you can play uh, sketchy physics. Actually, no. For this computer, I'm using just 8. So, my bad. I'm just using 8. What we're going to do here is we're going to slant this at a perfect 45 degree angle while connecting with the top line. And that should do it. I'm going to set done. And then I'm going to change the texture. I'm not going to make it white. I'm going to make it yellow. So it is black and yellow. The redefined uh, colors of construction materials. So about 50% should do it here. Eh, close enough. It looks like a it looks like a thing, right? It looks like a thing. Why am I like this? So yes, that's what's gonna be part of my note block. And we're gonna save this because I like saving very constantly, because what happens if I lose it? I lose all of it, and that would not be fun. Alright, so I'm gonna uh Test it to make sure it goes all the way across. And hit this button here. And it looks like it's pretty close. I mean, it's close enough to call it actually measurable. So I'm going to call a time warp here to make sure that this... Yes, I check it again. And uh, here we go. We're going to keep on going. And we're going to build ourselves a note block. Well, I have an idea here for strings, first of all. It's just to put strings in here. And I need to do that. I need to put a... Uh, sketchy uh piston there and i need to connect it with it and makes the strings which that was a chore to do and then make it look rusty and make it look like a rusty color so i'm gonna put that as static and not static just ignore i'm just gonna put oscillator 45 which means it takes 45 frames to go forward and back again just like that boom now I'm going to repeat this uh, at least three times. One for strings, one for a drum, and one for cymbals. Because that's all the three that I know of that play on a block. And as I look on this, I realize even if it is the right size, it's still too small. So I'm going to put this in the 48 spot and like that. Boom, boom, boom. And we have instant strings. Now notice this is on a time warp. So this took about 40 minutes. But you're seeing this in about five minutes, so uh, this was a this was a pain. 
So I'm, I'm going to put a baseboard there to make it look like it was amplifying sound. And there we go. We have a kind of a commuter here, in, which goes up and down by magnetic force. And then, whoops, got to put them on static. And there you go. It makes it look like that. And put it on top, and it looks like it's something. It looks like it's a it, playable strings. And now, time for the snare drum. I just use a cylinder and uh, put it really large because. And then multicolor it like this, boop, 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 just in case. And then make a top. Now, first I used uh, one metal, and then I used another metal because the first one didn't work. So, yeah, a little bit of trial and error for SketchUp users. And just keep on going until I find the right membrane. Because that's what it's called. It's called a membrane. It looks kind of legit. And I realized right about now that... No blocks are all blocks inclusive, which means the top is the same as the sides, so we don't need the caution tape anymore. That would be just counterproductive, and it wouldn't make sense. Now here I am measuring the angle for uh, this little stick thing, and it's about, um, it was about, I don't remember what it was, but it was about, yeah, it was 25 degrees, so, and I used another oscillator and make sure they're connected and have the same instructions and they are the same so basically what that tells us to do is to play on a variant so it was neat to do that and then it was time for the symbols for this i would need uh, a basic shape of a cylinder and that wasn't it, and I didn't figure it out until afterwards. So I made the circle, made it all the way around, and that was about the time when I said, nope, that's not going to work. So I put it in a separate group, we did it again, and then uh, put it like this. This was the time when I realized that it didn't match well, so I used a different metal, da 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 da, -da made it look like an actual membrane, and then reverse the polarity. And there we go. We had a working symbol. Now, this one required another slider. So I copied this, pasted it, made the first one stack, the other one movable. And then we had uh, our note block, which it looks like a mess, right? So I've decided to put a little window, like it looked like a little speaker. And this is what it causes it. So a quick test here, and yes, that looks exactly what I want to look like. Right, and I'm going to make all the pistons disappear, soft and smooth the edges, so it looks like one and the same. And then reintegrate integrate the, the speaker part. And of course, I realize now it's going to be too small, so I need to bring that down a bit so it actually looks like it. And then recolor uh, the speaker part, which is dark brown, as everyone knows it. And finding that dark brown was a bit of a challenge, but I did it anyway. And we make all the edges disappear, move to its perspective, zoom in as its maximum possibility, and then turn on shadows. Now, shadows is really not that important, but it makes it look like it actually, you can see everything in it, even in its perspective. So there you go. I have it on uh, shader now. Now I'm going to run it on record. And that's what it will look like. So about 200 frames and I will stop it. And don't pay attention to that. That doesn't do anything. That was a fluke and it didn't I didn't save it as a fluke. But I will, uh, there's this thing called plugins up here, and it will export my movie as the animation was. So, Sketchy Replay is called. Sketchy Replay, it's called. And this is the reason why I time warp most of the time. And here we need to decide which we want to do. And we want to say no block, put it in our destinated folder, and we'll just call, make a new folder called note block edit. That's it. And then save.
And then at the bottom of the screen, it will begin to export. And it's exporting at 512 uh, pixelated frames. And this is going to take a while because so far it's at 15. So this ends part one. I will see you in part two. And welcome to part two. This is the part where you get to do what we wanted to do is make it into a Minecraft readable file. Now, even this is so we're going to need a program called Click Team Fusion. It is free, but most of the Click Team Fusion will allow you to export. But there is only one way, and it's it is hacky. It is hacky, so uh, you need this build right here. Ooh, excuse me. You need this build right there. R290.4. And it's the free version, so uh, you might say to yourself, I, I can't export anything in the free version, but there is a hacking version of how to export this. At first, here's how you do it. You need a new application. You just write a new one. And... Uh, in the first frame, you need to open the first frame. Now, your first act thought is to go for active, right? But no, do not go with active. Go with counter and just put it anywhere, anywhere you like. Um, Just put it here. Boom. And then make an active one. Hit save. We're going to save it as image editor. And the surprising thing about this, you don't need any commands. All you need to do is um, double click active, hit cancel, hit this, double click on this. At this point, it doesn't really know what it's doing, and close it. Hit the counter button, and then type in animation. That's first. A hack right there because it usually shouldn't do that in the free version. And here we go. And then we're going to import. And we're going to straight to the desktop. So, boop, desktop, Minecraft Roleplay, Minecraft Edit, go for the first one, and then open. This should take a while. And here we are. We want to make the transport color the same one as the one in the background. And then we want it to frame 100. So we can save a little bit on disk space. And we know that it's supposed to be 48 frames inclusive. So it will repeat itself twice if you just use it twice. All right. So there you go. Here it is. We have frame 1, 2, 3. And then that it looks like it's animating. Now... We could just leave it like this, or we can make it actually make it look like it makes sense. So where does this start? It starts around about here, around page uh, frame 30. Let's just call it that. And then all the way up here, we'll just delete it. Yep. All right, and we have frame 1. Now, we should believe that it takes 48 frames to actually go back to where it was. But in order to make sure this has actually happened, we need to make sure it goes back on ourselves. So, we go right back here. Just to make sure, it is 47, 48. That is exactly right, 48 frames. So, the oscillator works. We know that now. And we delete everything after it. And this is the part of the program where I realize that there's a sketchy six 3.2 thing on the top of the screen. And we realize we don't need this. We can just get rid of this in the original SketchUp version. But I this is what you do in case this ever happens. Yeah, it gets boring and, and it's very tedious. Very tedious. All right, are we back? Okay, good. This next step is very easy. All you have to do is hit Control K and it will crop 
auto crop it for you, which means it will auto make it a square for you. So all you have to do is hit Control K and just keep on holding it and just go on to the next frame and the next frame and the next frame and it auto crops it for all your frames. And it's very simple. Just hit your mouse 48 times, which you've done it before probably. And now we've come to the hack. And uh, there really isn't no secret to this. All you have to do is hit this little save floppy disk over here, up here. And I'm reading the width and height to make sure I can correct it. Which I really can't correct it here. That would be taking a long time. So I'm just going to save it here. Just hit that floppy disk. Just hit the floppy disk. Come on, hit the floppy disk. Time warp. And then we just export numbered image files. We don't want to export it into sprite sheet yet because it's not yet uh, square. So we need it to be absolutely in square. So we need to export numbered image files. To do this, we just hit export numbered image files. Like that. And it will auto do it for you, but you need to find a place for it. Like, I'm going to make a new folder called Note Block After Edit. And we're just going to call it Note Block. And then save. And that should take another few minutes. Here's where you need to use your Mac computer to use Preview because Preview can edit multiple images and make them into a certain image. You can also use Photoscape for this. But I won't show you Photoscape, I will show you Preview. All you have to do is select all of this, adjust the size to, I'm going to say 512 by 512 at first. Actually, no, we're just going to go straight to 48 by 48. And then realize, yeah, where's the speaker part? At least it looks like it's animated right now. <laughs> doesn't that look awesome? But it doesn't look like it's speakerable. So we realize our first mistake, but do we really want to go for it? Nah, let's keep it like that. Here's something awesome that I forgot. When you close it, it automatically saves it for you. So uh, make sure when you... Yeah, make sure you're sure when before you do this. All right, so now we have those after edit, after edits, and then we're going to go back to Click Team Fusion, and we're going to import from this here again. Only this time we're going to import the 48 by 48 version. Ah. And here we have the 48 version. We're going to keep the transparent the way it is because out of salt it for us. We're not going to pick it for us. We're just going to leave it as it is. And now it's 48 by 48. Now how are we going to put this into a numbered sprite file? Like up and down. Now I have a solution for this. I never tried this before. So I'm just going to guess here. And if I get it right, I'll give myself $20. So I'm thinking that it is a sprite file. And it's exactly the numbers it is. 48 plus the letter D for down. So I'm going to say you have a D so that it goes up and down like that. And does it accept it? Yes, it does. It does accept it. I owe myself 20 bucks. <laughs> so I'm going to put a note block. No, music block because that's the real title of it. And then we're going to put this as final. note block and save and bing bang boom it should be done now and there it is it's beautiful second to last step second to last step make sure you attach a text file with the animation so it knows that it's actually an animation and here we go the moment of truth we've all been waiting for there it is the note block and by 48 by 48 
available on Minecraft right now. Of course, I'll have to get my mother's permission first. But look at that. Doesn't that... Isn't that what we just saw a few minutes ago? Now it's in 48 by 48 pixels. So yes, now we got to make sure it meshes with each other. So I'm going to put them around, make sure the lighting is okay. This, this actually looks pretty neat. I'm excited about this. So yeah, that's a music box. It doesn't look like one right now, but I'm sure with a few edits, it will look exactly like I want it to look like. And now for the final test, seam seamlessness. And that's to make sure that it, if you put it together, it will look like it belongs with each other. And yeah. I can see it. I can see the 3D depthness of it. That is neat. Looks like four blocks. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what you see and like to see more in the future, please hit that like button. I will see you next Minecraft Monday. Until then, this is Kenneth Opsart saying shalom. <laughs>